Soy Canela, reporting for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing Popular Theory. Popular Theory is an adorable film that showcases true friendship. The camera work, charming script, great actors, and clever cinematography makes this film a delightful experience. The story begins by introducing Erwin, a 12-year-old genius who's in 11th grade. She meets Winston, another 12-year-old genius, who's initially her biggest competition. They agree to be colleagues and work together in hopes of winning the school science fair. They face many obstacles along the way, but ultimately learn what true friendship really means. I really love this film. So many aspects make it unique and really stand out. I love the camera movements. From scene to scene, this film is packed with clever transitions that are really appealing to the eye. Cinematographer Damien Horn knew what he was doing, and the colors of this film are especially interesting. Erwin is constantly surrounded by the color blue, while Winston is constantly surrounded by the color orange, almost as if the colors represent them, and when the first two meet, the juxtaposition of these two colors really catches your eye, and as their friendship grows, it's so cute to see how the colors start to mix and they start to wear blue and orange together. And it's interesting how the color palette is not only really aesthetically pleasing, but it's also very symbolic and adds to the storytelling. I've seen applications like this, for example, in 500 Days of Summer, but I really like the way Damien Horan executed this and shot the film. The art direction by Gavin Mazier and the set design decoration by Millie Moreno is genius. Kudos to the entire art department. Sophia Reed Ganser as Erwin and Lincoln Lambert as Winston make the cutest duo. Individually, they are fantastic actors, but I also think they just work so well together and I think they were the perfect cast. And one of my favorite characters is played by Cheryl Hines as Aunt Tammy, who's a hairdresser and utilizes her craft as her art form. And I really love how every character in this film has a purpose and also the storyline is not only adorable, but I think is a great representation of what kids have to go through in high school. And I think many people will find ways to relate to this film. This film deals with many different themes like bullying, friendship, doing what's best for others, amongst many other themes. But I think the main message of this film is that popularity isn't everything and that anyone can find true friendship. I give Popular Theory a 5 out of 5 stars and I'd recommend it for ages 10 to 18 and adults as well. Popular Theory opened in theaters February 9th, 2024, so make sure to go watch it. And thank you all so much for watching my review. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters on this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.